there. Thank you so much for joining me, Elise Allen from Elise Allen Homes, and I am super excited to have a special guest with me today, the magical, the one, the only, Heather, and I can't even properly introduce you. I'm going to let you have that forum. Heather, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, I am a registered acupuncturist and I've been working in Victoria for the last eight years in a really busy practice, which is great. And I just recently started a business called So Sensitive. Um, and it's an emotion initiative that's all about education and emotion empowerment and integration. Oh my God. Talk about that for an intro, folks. <laughs> we've got acupuncture, we've got emotional wellness, because wellness is such an important part of our lives. Yeah. And I know Heather has helped myself and my family for years now. It's been longer than I, <laughs> than I think that we should maybe count. But yeah, it's been a lot. But you're, you're so much more than an acupuncturist. And this is why I'm so excited to get into that new venture. But that's going to be the next installment, guys. So hang tight, because what I'd love to bring to you today is Heather and her acupuncture knowledge. Because I remember the first time we met. <laughs> oh, I'm going here. Story. I'm going here. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and, you know, I just, I wasn't quite sure about acupuncture. I'd heard about things. I heard from folks that had experienced acupuncture. And I remember it was Christmas. My grandparents, or sorry, my grandparents, my, make sure you edit that one. <laughs> And my seed <laughs> and my parents golden yeah. at the time. I was on the couch and she just cuddled right up, fell asleep, and I could not move my neck. I couldn't turn it. I was like body cast. <laughs> and I was lost. But then I found Heather. <laughs> it was a chance. And you took me in, the orphan in the storm. And I don't even know, I, can't, I remember some of the points. I know they all have names. But this was the magic one, the yeah. final one. And the energy just released. And I felt this <laughs> surge <laughs> of, yeah, I, I, I equate it as the dam breaking. And I could immediately turn I remember I did get a little bit overwhelmed. And she has this magical secret. If you kind of feel overwhelmed, what, what was it? I thought, I thought, Heather, and then you just did, you know, just push, <laughs> just put right here, right there. an <laughs> inner secret. <laughs> and it just calmed me down, and we went from there. Yeah. And we've kept this whole body <laughs> yeah. working amazing and functioning. Thanks for going down that rabbit hole, yeah. you guys. <laughs> so anyways, that's how we connected. And I'm just so excited to share you with Victorians, with people around the world, because wellness is something we need to Yeah, we usually wait until we can't walk, we can't move our neck, until like something's really cute yes. and obvious and impacting our lives negatively in order to go and get... The, the help, the support, the fix. Um, and I love that acupuncture's help in those scenarios and settings. Um, because to be able to get that pain relief, that motion back in it, over the course of five minutes is so helpful to get you back into that healing process, right? Rather than staying stuck. Um, and yeah, so the acute injury recovery, um, inflammation, pain, amazing resource the acupuncture yes 100 percent. but then what about the times where you're not you know in agony and you're going well do i really need it acupuncture is like this you can top up your tank and get rid of the little things from piling up to be and stop them from becoming big things and that's what i really love about it and once people get that into uh like a possibility of what they can do for their health because that's a brand new idea. Everywhere else is just wait till you're sick. 
and then you know you'll we'll, we'll give you something to recover afterwards. This is why don't we help you stay healthy, right? And it's it's such a like it was such a mind bending idea when I when I even first got to acupuncture school that it it's taken some time to sink in, but it's my favorite thing to help support people with. Um, figuring out what their sweet spot is for coming in to help manage the accumulation of stress and tension um, emotionally, physically, mentally in their lives. Right. Oh my gosh. A whole range of topics there because it doesn't have to be something that's injury related because I've we've done sinus relief or I love the nervous system reset <laughs> because there's so many things that affect our lives and everything wants us to go faster why is that i don't know but i mean like and we can our bodies are amazing at going okay i'm up for the challenge and then they don't slow down well on their own it's not something that's passive you have to do something like go go for acupuncture go swimming go walk in nature right but you it has to be something that you're doing in order to send that signal back into your body of like hey it's okay to slow down now because otherwise we just keep on winding tighter and tighter and getting more activated and stressed. Right. Well, what a heck of an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stay tuned you guys and we are going to talk to Heather more about acupuncture school. I'm fascinated with that. So join us for our next installment.